Hey, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor. I've seen so many of these questions floating around the internet, and quite a few people ask me those questions as well. But quite honestly, they are often the wrong question to ask. Wondering if you are asking the wrong question? Keep watching today's coffee talk. So some of the most common question I got from people and some of the most popular YouTube video about watercolor is about this two topic, material and techniques. So the question about material include what brand of paper, paint and brushes do I use? What's the size of the paper and brushes? What color of the paint do I use? And so on. And the technique questions are like, how do you do wet on wet, wet on dry, making washes? How do you mix the specific colors? What color do you use to mix the color? And so on. Don't get me wrong, these questions are legit and it's great to know, but quite often they are the wrong question to ask. Notice I said wrong question, not bad question. Why do people ask question? Because there's a problem that needs to be solved. But if you ask a good question in the wrong time, it's not going to solve your problem. Therefore, it's a wrong question to ask. Knowing all the materials and techniques won't make you a great artist, especially if you want to paint and create a believable painting that's based on reality. I have some great photographer friends who took amazing photos just with their phone or their point and shoot little camera. Yet they always got questions like, what camera are you using? What setting? What program do you use to edit your photos? And when my friend told them that, oh, I shoot it just with my phone and with a free simple app for editing, those people are usually disappointed. And that kind of made me wonder what do they expect to hear when they ask those questions? I'm sure some people who ask genuinely want to learn to become better photographer but I wager that many people who ask those questions are looking for like a magic bullet that will instantly just transform their art or their photography, or they are expecting to hear that my friends are using some $8,000, $10,000 cameras with expensive programs so they can have an excuse about their own photo not look as good because they can't afford the same level of equipment. Or they saw knowing the exact same setting can make their photo look amazing. However, it will be very unlikely that they will instantly become a great photographer just by having the same expensive camera gear or some expensive programs. Same thing goes for watercolor. I feel some people are looking for that magic bullet that will instantly transform their painting and make it better. They think if they just get that same brand of paper, brush, or paint, or if they just learn that one trick, it can make their painting look like the masters. And while having good materials and technique can give you an easier time painting and give you more enjoyment, it's not going to make you a better artist. Don't take my word for it. Let's hear from what Joseph Bookvich, one of the master of watercolor says. Of course, I could paint with uh, Mickey Mouse paints on the ground and I would still be okay. Okay, so I don't know what Mickey Mouse paint is, but I'd assume it's not Daniel Smith, Holbein, Winsor Newton or whatever. Let me show you the painting I bought from Joseph. Guess what type of paper he's using. It's not Saunders, Arches, Hanuma or anything. It's a cheap sketchbook paper that actually not meant for watercolor. Well, he's a master, that's why he can use some cheap material and still did a good painting. And that's exactly my point. They become master not because of the material they use, but the time they put in to learn, practice and honing their craft, as well as having a keen eye and sharp mind to have a good vision for their painting. Learning the right technique is important, but if you don't know when and how to use those techniques, they are useless. Learning how to mix a specific color is nice, but a gray painting will still look great if you change the color around or just make it black and white. So you know it's not it. Now, I understand this can be hard to take, but actually I want you to feel encouraged and even empowered because now that you know a good artist is not made by some external factor or some magical legendary tools, but it is you you are the one who can turn yourself into a better painter. All the materials are just the extension of you. 
This doesn't mean you go cheap on your painting material, that's not what I'm talking about at all. If you are serious about painting, then you should definitely invest into some good materials and tools for that. But what I'm trying to say is that in order to make the most out of the materials that you have, we need to work on improve our artistic core. In my next video, I'm going to share some ways that can help you to become a better artist for free. You don't need expensive material or learn some special technique to do them. It is a very important topic that I don't see a lot of artists talk about around here. And I don't want you to miss out. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get your notification so you won't miss out my next video. That being said, thank you for watching. I'm Eric from Cafe Watercolor and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye.